This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple skull and crossbones icon using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and get started here in Inkscape. And by the way if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the view is set to custom. Then we're going to zoom in. Uh, we'll go to view, we'll go zoom in, zoom in to one to one. <clears> then <throat> we'll open up the align and distribute menu. And we'll want last selected chosen from this drop down up here. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So the first thing I'm going to create is the top of the skull right here, which is just a, a, a basic circle. So let's grab the circles and ellipses tool. Hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle like that. And I'm going to bring the opacity of this down roughly in half. And I'll turn this red just for now. And then I'm going to go to the Select tool and I'm going to right click this circle and go to Duplicate and turn that black. And I'll hold Control and Shift and scale that down about that much. And I'm going to put this down here towards the lower left. This is going to make for the eye sockets which are right here. So um, to make this take the shape of the eye socket, uh, we'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool and go to Path, Object to Path, and then I'll click and drag over these two nodes right here in the center, and then just hold Control and click and drag those nodes up about that far. So it's shaped, it's shaped kind of like almost like a guitar pick. And once we've done that, we can go back to the Select tool and just take this bottom arrow and just put that up about that much so it's shaped like that and then I'll click on this again to get the rotation handles and hold control and rotate this down one step like that and then I'll just put this over here towards the lower left and then I'll right click that and go to duplicate click and uh, flip this horizontally and hold control and click and drag this over to the left and then hold shift and click on the other eye socket and go to path Union. So we have the eye sockets right there. We just want to make sure that this is centered up on that circle. So with this selected, hold shift and click the red circle. And we'll click on the button that says center on vertical axis so it's centered. Click off it to deselect. And now I'm going to create the part of the skull that um, comes out of the eye sockets, sort of. If you notice, is the skull's taking the shape going around the eye sockets there. So to create that, I'm going to click on the, uh, the eye socket shapes and go to path linked offset and I'm going to turn that red and I'm going to grab this node and pull this out about that much and go to we could finalize that by going to path object to path <clears throat> then we come back to the select tool and what I'll do next is I'll create the bottom portion of the skull right here which is where the uh, the top of the jaw would be to do that, I'm just going to uh, grab the uh, squares and rectangles tool and click and drag on the canvas to create um, a rectangle, maybe like that. And I'll take this top node up here in the top right corner and bring that down a little bit to give that rounded corners. And I'll take this other node and I'll bring this all the way to the left to give that a rounded edge like that. And then I'll finalize that by going to path, object to path. And what I want to do now is make the top of this rectangle wider than the bottom of the rectangle. So to do that, we'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, and I'm going to click and drag over these top three nodes right here. And with them selected, I'll turn on this button that says Show Transformation Handles. And that's going to give us scaling handles there. And I'm just going to hold Control. You know what? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'll press plus on the keyboard a couple of times to zoom in. And then I'll hold Control, and I'll grab one of these arrows and just pull that out. So it's coming down, the edges are coming down like that. And that's pretty good. We could turn off those handles now. Go back to the select tool. I'm gonna hold shift in the keyboard and click on the uh, the red circle. Make sure it's centered on the vertical axis. Click off of it to deselect everything and click on just this red shape right here. And I'm gonna lower that one step so it goes beneath the eyes. And I'll click and drag over the whole thing and bring the opacity all the way up. So uh, what I'll do now is click off it to deselect. I'm going to zoom back out to 100% by pressing 1 on the keyboard and seeing how that looks. Um, it looks kind of almost like an alien head because the eyes are a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the eye sockets and hold shift and click on the red shape beneath it. 
and hold uh, Control and Shift and scale that down a little bit. And maybe I'll take this part and bring that up, pull that out some more like that. And that's pretty good. I'll click off of that to deselect. Now, I'm going to create the nose socket right there. Do that. Uh, I'll grab the circles and ellipses tool, hold Control and Shift and click and drag to create a circle. And I'll make that black. Bring the opacity down in half. I'll go to the select tool and I'll click on this again to get the rotation handles and I'll hold control and I'll take this side arrow on the right right here and bring that up two steps. So I'll go one, two like that. And then I'll go to the squares and rectangles tool and I'm going to draw a square going over that. Positioned right about there. You notice how the left edge of that square, that rectangle is going over that little square node right there. Right about there is pretty good. And uh, I should make those corners sharp. And I'll go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on that little uh, ellipse that we just created and go to path, difference. Then we can duplicate that by right clicking it and going to duplicate and flip it horizontally and then click and drag over both of those and click on this button over here that says align right edges of objects to the left edge of the anchor. And once we've done that we can unify that together by going to path, union, bring the opacity all the way up. Just put this over here. I'm just going to hold control and just scale this down like that. Now it's starting to look more like a skull. And I'll hold shift and click on this red circle up here and just center it on the vertical axis. And it looks like it already is. So um, click off of that to deselect everything. And what we could do now is um, I'm going to click on each red shape individually. So I'll start with the red one up here and hold shift, click on the red shape going around the eye sockets and then hold shift and click on the other red shape down here and unify that all together by going to path union and I'll actually bring the opacity of that down a little bit for what we're going to do next so let me click and drag over all of that put this out of the way for right now what we got to do now is uh, create the uh, crossbones so to do that uh, let's grab the squares and rectangles tool and click and drag to create a rectangle like this and I'm gonna make this red and I'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool and we'll go to Path, Object to Path and that'll give us nodes to work with. And I'll click and drag over these nodes on the right over here and I'll turn these transformation handles back on and then hold Control, Control and Shift and grab one of these transformation arrows and just scale that down about that much. And then what I'll do is uh, we turn off the handles for now I'm going to grab the edge of this red rectangle right up here and just pull that down a little bit to give it a little bit of a curve. And I want to take this handle that came out of this node and make sure that this is going horizontally. So I'm going to hold control to lock that on the horizontal axis. We want to have that going about that far. And we can hold control and take this handle and just pull that down a little bit as well. Maybe I'll hold control and pull this up a little bit to give it more of a curve. And that's pretty good. And in order to make the bottom portion match the top portion, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool again and create a rectangle going over the bottom half of that shape. Go to the select tool, hold shift, click on the other red shape, and go to path, difference. And then I could right click that and go to duplicate. I could flip that vertically, and hold control and just bring this down about that far. And click and drag over both of those and unify them together by going to path union so this is going to be one half of the bone so uh, I'm going to create the little uh, joint of the bone right here which is pretty simple we're just going to uh, create a couple of circles so I'll hold control and shift and click and drag to create the circle I'll go back to the select tool put this right about here I'll duplicate that right click it go to duplicate hold control bring this circle down here and to make sure that these are spaced out evenly I'll just click and drag over all three of them and come down to the distribute panel click on the button that says make vertical gaps between objects equal and that'll make sure it's all centered up nicely and then we can go to uh, path union so what I want to do now is we have the left half of this bone so we have to make the right half so to do that I'll just right click it go to duplicate flip that uh, horizontally and hold control and just move this over to the right like that hold shift click on the other one and go to path union 
And now we can take this and bring this over here, over to the skull. And I'm moving the page by pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So that's, that's one way you can do that. And I'll just hold Control and Shift and scale this down a little bit. I'll click on it again to get the rotation handles. And I'll hold Control and just rotate this around one, two, two steps maybe like that. That should be good. Let me lower that to the bottom. Uh, I'll duplicate that by uh, right-clicking it and going to Duplicate. Flip that horizontally like that. And hold Shift and click on the other one and unify them both together by going to Path Union. So they're now unified together. And uh, what I want to do now is hold Shift and click on the skull and just make sure we center that up. Vertical, horizontal axis. Click off it to deselect. Maybe I'll uh, click on these crossbones right here and hold Control and Shift and scale them down a little bit. That's pretty good. And what I want to do now is click and drag over all of it. Bring the opacity up and uh, click off it to deselect. The next step would be to color everything in and put the outline around the skull and the crossbones. So I'll click on the, uh, the red skull right there and I'll make that white. And I'll go to Path, Link to Offset. And I'll make that offset black. And I'll take this node up here and I'll just pull that out about that much. You want this to be pretty thick because in order to work as an icon, it needs to be visible. It's small when it's scaled down to small sizes. So if I zoom out like that and you see it's small, you can still see it. Maybe it needs to be a little thicker. So, uh, and By the way, I'm holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel to uh, for an easy zoom like that. So I'll make that a little thicker and go to Path, Object to Path to finalize it. And uh, let's click on the red uh, crossbones right there. We'll make that white. And we'll do the same thing. We'll go to Path, Link to Offset, make that black. Grab this node and pull that out. Make it about as thick as the, uh, as the one for the skull. Maybe about that much. That's pretty good. We can finalize that by going to Path, Object to Path. We'll go back to the Select tool. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're done. So we can click and drag over the whole thing and group it together. And hold Control and Shift and scale it down or up wherever you'd like. And if you, know, if you notice, by giving it nice thick outlines like that, you could scale this down to a small size and it's still um, visible. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a simple skull and crossbones icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.